All right, guys, on my channel, I try to stay mostly positive when it comes to talking about video topics and just talking about video games in general. But today, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go a little negative. I really don't want to, but this time, it's personal. Today, I am talking about the Ambernic RG35XX handheld gaming device and why I used to love this thing, but not anymore. The RG35XX was one of my favorite video game products I purchased last year, and it blew up all over the internet. A lot of content creators were talking about it, including myself. I made two videos about it, and of course, I didn't get a lot of views because I'm a small content creator, but much larger content creators like The Wolf Den, for example. He talked about this, and he said he can easily recommend this to anyone who's an emulation novice or an emulation beginner because of how reliable and easy and convenient it is to just set up. Basically, you take this out of the box, you turn it on, and you play thousands of games that are already pre-downloaded for you on the device. That's how easy it is. So what makes this thing such a big deal? Well, a lot of other emulation devices comes with no games pre-downloaded. You have to find the ROMs and transfer the games onto the device yourself. But not with this, this comes with thousands of games preloaded for you. So that means anyone can buy this for around 50, 60 or $70 and have thousands of games ready to go right out of the box, including freaking Pokemon, man. That's freaking awesome. That's why this was a huge deal. Thank you for throwing stuff. I love you, my little baby. For those who don't know, the RG35XX is one of many different emulation devices that Ambernic and other different companies release. And the RG35XX can play games like play Game Boy Color games, NES, SNES, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation, Sega, Sega Genesis, and many more. This thing can play a lot of things. It cannot play Nintendo 64, it can't play Xbox, but the limit is PS1 and Game Boy Advance, I think. And no DS and no PSP either. So now, what is the point of this video? Why am I making this video? What is the negative topic I want to talk about? Well, my RG35XX won't turn on anymore. I bought this thing last spring spring 2023 i purchased this device right here and now it just won't turn on it will not boot up no matter what i do i have tried a few different chargers i tried my steam deck charger i tried my switch charger i tried the original charger that it came with nothing will boot this thing up no matter what i do i push the restart button i push down on the power button i've taken the sd card out I've tried doing them in different orders. Nothing works. This is now just a brick. It is a useless piece of plastic. There is nothing I can figure out how to make this thing work again. I don't know, man. And that just kind of breaks my heart because I really did love this thing. This was one of my favorite devices that came out last year. I was in love with it. I played it a lot. It was, it was just one of my favorite products that I own. For one, this reminds me of my childhood Game Boy that I had. It was the same exact color, transparent purple. That's the main reason why I bought that one is because it's transparent purple. It reminds me of my Game Boy and it gives me a lot of nostalgia. I'm like, it feels like I'm playing my Game Boy again. Like... I was a kid and it was awesome. And on the other hand, this thing costs around $70 to buy. I bought it on Amazon with free shipping, but if you buy it from the Ambernic website, it's like 50 something <laughs> plus shipping and that about evened out for me. You know what? Maybe this is my fault because I did buy it from a secondhand seller. I did not buy it strictly from Ambernic. I bought it from a secondhand seller on Amazon and maybe they gave me a faulty product. I don't know, maybe that's my fault. Also, I haven't really been charging this thing. I, it's been dead for a couple months. I haven't kept it on a constant charge or I haven't kept it alive. Maybe that's my fault too. Maybe I drained the battery and it's just dead because of me. I'll take some responsibility for that. Okay, sure. But it just peeves me that I can buy any of these Ambernic devices and now I'm gonna have the fear that any of them at any point, at any day, it just won't turn on anymore. It's just gonna dead and it's just done for. Luckily, my white one that I also bought a few months after this one, this one still works, and I'm gonna try to keep it on a constant charge as much as I can, because I don't want this one to just be a brick like that one. I will say the reason why I haven't really been using it and I haven't really been charging it, and a reason I'm not like entirely pissed off is because um, emulation has come to iPhones. It's come to iOS, and that's pretty cool, especially the Delta app. Everything this Ambernic has to offer I can just play it on my phone. It's a lot more convenient. I don't have to worry about another device being charged. I don't have to purchase another de another device. It just works on my iPhone that I usually always have in my pocket. And that's pretty cool. And I can pick and choose the different games I want on my iPhone. I don't have to have to scroll through thousands of games on the Ambernic. 
Anyways, you know, this just got me thinking, like, how reliable and how good of a product are these pieces of plastic? Because Ambernick is pushing out a brand new device like every other week to replace the original device they just released like a year prior. Like they released the RG35XX Pro recently or Plus and not supposed to replace this one, but what if I still have this one? I don't want to spend another $70, $70 to buy a new device when I still have this one, but I think that might be Ambernick's business plan. Make crappy products that only last a year and a half, so you buy the brand new one in a year and a half. I don't know, man. It just got me thinking. And then, like I said earlier, I'm a little worried and scared to buy future Ambernick devices. I really wanted the Ambernick RG35 SP. It's basically this, but it replicates the Game Boy SP. I've never owned a Game Boy SP, but I thought it'd be really cool to experience that. Bless you, honey. And it'd be cool to have that. And it also plays uh, Nintendo 64 games. It's just a, a little better than this. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to buy one of those. <coughs> but now I'm scared. Because what if it doesn't turn on in a year and a half, and then they release the R... <coughs> what if they release the RG35XX SP Plus, and they want me to buy that one instead? I don't know, man. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Also, mostly sad because I did buy this purple one because I wanted to gift it to her in a couple years and have her play it and have her experience like the game, the Game Boy games that I played as a kid. I wanted her to have that cool Game Boy experience that I had. So I loved my Game Boy and I wanted to give it to her. And now I can't because it's dead and it's, you know what? I might as well give it to her now because it's just a piece of plastic. It doesn't work. Have fun, honey. Do whatever you want. Have fun. Anyways, I don't really know where to go from here. Like I said, I'm scared to buy future products. I don't know how much longer this one is going to last because this one is dead. If you have any tips or tricks, believe me, I love, I look on forums, I look online, how to boot this thing, how to save it, like what happens if the battery is just dead. I've tried all the tips and tricks. If you have any, please let me know. And please let me know if you've also had problems with your device just not turning on one day. And like I said, I will take some responsibility because I admit it, I have not kept this thing on a charge and I haven't charged it in a couple months. And also I've kind of moved on from it because I can just play all the games on my phone instead. So let me know if you've had any experiences like this with your RG35XX or any other Ambrink devices. Have fun with that, honey. I was gonna give it to you a couple years from now, but you can have it now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I recorded that first part and then I have a little bit of an update. I need to re-record a second part, so let's get into it. So after recording that, I went into Bob Wolf, AKA Wolf Den's Twitch stream, and I told him, hey, my RG35XX doesn't turn on, it doesn't work anymore. And he replied saying something like, you have to reformat the SD card, you have to get a new SD card, you have to update the SD card, something to do with the SD card. Basically what I got out of it is, I have to mess around with the SD card on a PC. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of me purchasing any of these Ambernick devices. Because like I said in my original video, I didn't make it very clear, but these Ambernick devices come with games and ROMs pre-downloaded for you. That's the whole reason why I bought it, because I don't own a PC. I don't have a PC. I don't have a way to access ROMs, to store ROMs. I don't have a way to transfer ROMs to a device. I have to buy a device that has these ROMs pre-downloaded for me. So the fact that these devices can break and one of the only ways to fix them is to use a PC to fix them, that defeats the whole purpose of me even buying these devices. It's so frustrating. It defeats the whole purpose of me buying these things in the future. If they break, I have to use a PC to fix them, but I don't have a PC. So what the heck, man? And then secondly, I forgot to mention, I actually bought a Pow Kitty device. It's like another company like, like Ambernick who makes these things, Pow Kitty. And this is the X55 model. And this also comes with games pre-downloaded in there. And it also has PSP and DS games. So that's pretty awesome. As soon as I opened this right out of the box, it had stick drift right away and that annoyed the hell out of me and then this won't turn on it won't charge it also broke like my rg35xx it broke and won't turn on after a month or two at least the rg35xx took like a year or so for this to happen i am one for three when it comes to these emulation devices i bought two of these ambrank devices first one broke this is my backup one i bought a palkia device and that one is just dead it just won't work anymore so I'm done buying emulation devices, you know, cause I can always just run the risk of another one in the future just breaking and the only way to fix it is just to use a PC or something. I don't know. My personal experience, they're not reliable enough for me to make future purchases and that upsets me because in theory, these devices are awesome. Look at this little guy. This thing is co so cool. This can play Pokemon Emerald right now. I can boot it up and play Pokemon Emerald. That is just 
so cool to me. I love this thing. I loved it so much. But it's just the fact that it can break at any second and I'm just kind of screwed. I don't know, man. It just... I really wanted to buy the RG35XX SP, the Game Boy SP device. But I just can't bring myself to risk it and buy any of these things in the future, you know? And also at the same time, why would I buy these things when my iPhone can now emulate ROMs with the Delta app? And it's a lot more convenient and easy. And my even my Steam Deck can emulate games better than these things. So you know what? I'm done buying these things. I recommended these to like everyone, but now I cannot recommend these anymore from a personal experience. You still buy them and risk them if you want. All right, well, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me rant and ramble and all this jazz. I guess she's gonna play Pokemon Emerald or break it. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy lady? There it goes. Okay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. You know what's even more fun than emulation devices? One of these things. They're pretty cool. Pretty expensive though, I'll tell you that.